Welcome back, folks. We have set up a little uh, plane filter production line here. I got the titanium going in between episodes. I went over and set up uh, some titanium smelting over on our uh, our smelting planet, and which is Mars 5. And we now have uh, 10,000 titanium glass there. So that's all good. And now we're going to make uh, plane filters here. And we actually need 60 plane filters a second. Because if we look at our recipe for the quantum chips, we are going to need two plane filters for every one quantum chip. And we want 30 quantum chips a second. So that means that we need a lot more plane filters, right? We need double up. We need 60 a second. Now, I have only set up 30 a second for now because I really just want to get science going again. It has scienced a little bit because we got the uh, crystals here, but now it's really not going anymore. Uh, so I set up uh, 30 plane filters a second here, and uh, 30 plane filters a second is 180 machines making plane filters. So uh, we have a little <laughs> we have a little setup here, and what I've done is I have. Um, I have the titanium glass because we need two titanium glass so we're not even producing enough titanium glass either. Uh, we need two titanium glass per uh, per plane filter. Or uh, actually two titanium... Gl Wait, what? Yeah, two titanium glass per plane filter. Uh, so we need 60 of those. A second, we actually need... Ooh, we need, so we want 60, we want 30 of those, and so we actually need, holy crap, Ugh. math, my brain just stopped working, we want two plane filters, well 60 plane filters per 30 seconds, which means that we want a hundred and twenty titanium glass. Yeah. Shit. Pardon my French. All right, so, but anyway, we have 30 uh, plane filters set up here. And, oh, I wanted to show you. We have titanium glass on these two lines, the two outer lines here in the middle. Outer lines in the middle, that makes sense. Uh, but that is what it is. So we have titanium glass here and titanium glass over here. And then, then we have Casimir crystals on the middle one. They spread out and come around and go down the second one as well. And uh, the uh, titanium glass just comes around here and and go come back down. So. Yeah, 180 machines in each row, actually. So that's 360 machines I've set up. So we have 90 here, 90 here, 90 here, and 90 here. 360 machines. So yeah. Let's uh, request the stuff. Uh, Local demand remote storage. Local demand remote storage. And here it comes. 
and we are now producing plane filters. And this stuff should easily make it all the way down. Eventually. Or have I done my math completely wrong? I might have. You never know. It does look like it's coming. These are all lighting up. But yeah, there's a ways to go yet. We'll see how how it works, but we should be good. We should be good. So yeah, that's uh, that's all the plane filters that we need. Then we just need, well first of all, I noticed that I had forgotten to set this up, so let's do that. And there, and there. So we are getting plane filters now. And we're getting an autosave. And how far has this gotten down yet? Around here. So the outer machines are starting to work now as well. Which is great. Fantastic. All right. And we are getting quite a few plane filters and they're being picked up to be used elsewhere, but they won't keep on be that. Uh, so soon our science should kick in again. Uh, let's set up... Uh, before we set up, actually... Uh, crap, I need some... Some foundations, because there's a big crack right there. Okay. Uh, so, what's next is actually the quantum chips, because I am fairly certain that we have enough processors. So we're going to set up quantum chips, and for quantum chips we need... Uh, let's see... We can do... So it's one every three seconds. So if you set up three machines, then it's one a second. And... 30 machines, that's 10 a second. So that means that we need 90 machines to fill up a belt, which need, means that we need 180 machines total. 180 machines total. Now, can we... No, there's an iron vein in the way here, so we can't do that here. How about here? No, not really. We can't do it here either. I suppose we could do 4 times 45. And then we would be able to do it here. What? Uh, probably not. Yeah, yeah, we would. We would be able to do it here. So let's head over there. And fill this l lava lake in. There we 
go. Let's just flatten a bit here. Because I hate the rocks. Alright. I'm out of foundations. Okay, so... Here we are out of power, though, which means that we need more s artificial stars. So let's go do that for starters. Oh, we need belt. There, come down there. Come over here. I didn't filter it. I want uh, those. And then we'll stick you there. Two, three, four, and five. I can go to back there. Okay. So, is, did that help the power situation? Yeah. Okay. I might need to do more, but then we will. All right, we're sciencing. Look at that. Not fast, but we're sciencing. Okay, now we need uh, plane filters. We need Casimir crystals. We need quantum chips. We need some space warpers. And we need some drones. And uh, no, we don't need Casimir crystals. Uh, okay, reset. Uh, we need processors. Yeah, processors. Which we're gonna need to request up here. Which means that we're going to need another tower for processors, I think. Let's go set that up, because we're definitely going to need it. So, you come in there. Powered up. Those you need those space warpers and you need processors. Okay. Now, if we do 45, so let me just do the math here one more time. So we need one every three seconds. 30 machines means we need 10 every three seconds. So 90 machines means 30 every three seconds of each. That's all we can hold. So. So if we do... Uh, 
let's start with the machines, shall we? See where we want those. We stick one here. We stick one here. Actually, we stick one. No, because I want. So we can do that. And then we can do that. And we can have our return coming down here. Or can we? But we will have a return here and here. Uh, let's just give them the recipe. Uh, oh. There. Okay. So, what we'll do is bring these out here. down this way, and then we can bring these out here, and come this way, and we can do the same here, there, and then this can come in. This can come in, and there we have it. And then we need some of these here. So the input lines here will come down, turn around, and go back up the other side. And that will give us 90 and 90. I like it. Uh, we're gonna need more. Uh, so, we need to come down this way. We're gonna need more sorters. Uh, actually, we don't need to go that far, do we? Uh, that. You're gonna need more sorters. They're down here, right? Nope. Dang it. Where are the sorters? Sorters! There you are. Then we need, let's say, input, input, and input, input. We need output, output. I hate it when it does that. Let's just make them like this for now. Okay, and then we need, let's see, what's the middle one that... There. There we go. And then we need a little belt. And it's here, and 
points here here and here and then here and here okay what we need what we're gonna need one of this aren't we so we could actually count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, I think, 41, oh, energy circuit, level 7, nice, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go to. Alright, mecha power, and then we have queued up three times veins utilization. out. And there, oops. Gonna need more belt too, I think. And this is out, yes. We might actually be okay on belt. We might actually be okay on belt. Let's get these done to up here, and then we can add the last little bit if there is a little bit needed. And there. Okay. Our science is starting to pick up a bit. nice to see. Okay, so now all we have to do is copy two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, and we do need a little bit extra. Let's just bring it out to here. Forty five. Okay. And then we need these two to come around like that. And the 
same for these two. And you need to come to here. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Let's get all this set up. Won't take too long. I think I'll uh, stick all of these in and, and then I'll be back. Alrighty, we have it all in. Everything has power. And we are ready to start producing some quantum chips. So we will say local. Uh, well, let's say remote storage, remote storage, local demand, local demand. Uh, local storage. Okay. So that's that done. And off we go. We are producing quantum chips. Nice. And this is 30 quantum chips a second in total. Because each of these lines will only do 15 a second, so we're producing 30 a second. But we don't, of course, don't have the pre-production for that, but I just really wanted to get it going so that we can get science going. And it's looking good. For now at least. And science is banging away. Auto save. Uh, looking okay so far, but I don't think it'll keep looking okay. And these guys are, see, we're, we're going down on the plane filters, I think. Well, actually, these plane filters can probably keep up with so here we have let's see are we doing full lines no so here we have 30 plane filters a second so we'll, we can only run 50 we'll get 15 a second here for now because we don't have enough plane filters. But that's okay. And we have 2,000 quantum chips on the way out. Outstanding. Let's head over to Mars 6. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Dyson Sphere. Man, I love it. Uh, where is Mars 6? Mars 2, Mars 3. And Mars 4. Mars what? Mars 5. Mass well, six, there it is. Okay. What's that? Oh, that's uh, the direction that it in. It's in. Whoops. I did not mean to get out of warp there. There we go. Hi, Mass six. Hi, science. Uh, wow, that was a nice landing. Green science is a flowing. Okay. 
Good. There's 5,000 quantum chips on the way. Nice. How far down is the production here? It's down here so far. Hopefully it'll get all the way. Now we're not producing purples. What are we missing for purples? Ah, uh, particle broadband. Makes sense. We actually need plastic for that. There's no alternate recipe for it. Hmm. All right. So we've run out of purple science now. Heck, <laughs> nabbit. We are producing a lot of whites still. That's something, I guess. We do have some purple science on the belt. And it's right there. So these machines down here will start because they will have the, all the different sciences. And these machines here will stop and the others will start. Okay, but look at the rate of science there. That is nice. That is nice. And we're almost up to a full belt here. We are actually all the way down at the end. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we need to set up a lot of particle broadband production. And we're gonna need more graviton lenses as well. We are gonna run out of graviton lenses fast. Which is not good, because those we're using for space warpers right now. But we really want to do green science for those. So, you know what? Let's head over. Uh, wait, before we head anywhere. We have 30 matrix labs on us. Uh, that'll be enough. Uh, we want to head to Mars 1 again. Or do we? Uh, we could just do it here. Well, let's just do it here. Let's make space warpers here from our greens. Mm. I don't want to stick them on the end here, and I, I actually think I want to. Well, let's. Let's head over here. And we'll set up another tower here. 
there. And you need an autosave. You need those. You need those. those and then you need space warpers you need 10,000 of them local supply and remote supply uh, there let's give you some power And what we'll do is research two, three, four, five. Is this too close? No. No, it's fine. Oh. So you guys are going to make uh, the gravity matrixes. And we need more conveyors. Where can I have conveyors? There. Uh, let's just grab all of them. We have sorters, I do have sorters. Okay. So then we need some of you making space warpers. It takes ten seconds. So we can do one, two, three, four. If we do five, that's... Well, let's do six. Let's do six. Okay. So, let's get... These out here. And we'll get these out here. And then we'll get the gravity matrixes out here. them down there and then we'll have the space warpers come out like this and come in here and what I'm thinking of doing is something like this send them in there and we can then remove you okay then we need some 
sorters. We'll do there. We'll do there. There and there. And then we'll have output and output. Okay, and we can always extend if we want. So... We need to be remote. Command local storage. Uh, remote command local storage. Alright, our veins just got a little bit better. Very nice. And then you need some power. So let's do this. And that. And that'll mean that you can go away. Okay. What we could actually also do might be worth it. Splitting here. down and then they rejoin the line. I think I like that. And here comes the first space warpers. Well, that's a much, much, much more efficient way of making space warpers. Which is nice. Now we can kill it over on Iota Buddhas. Should we make this 10 instead of 6? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and some power. How many do we have in between here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. And we can stick these in here. Okay. And I don't think we need to have this much of this in stock. Let's just do 5,000 and 5,000. And we can do that as well. Okie dokie. 
You're basically full now. Beautiful. I think we're making enough space warpers. I hope we are anyway. Okay. So, next item on the list is our uh, purple cubes, our information matrices, where we need a lot more particle broadband than we have, which means more nanotubes, more plastic, probably more fractal silicon crystals as well. But that's okay, because we can uh, make all that over on... Wow. Uh, Mars 1. If I can find Mars 1. There it is. And let's head over there. And in the next one, we'll start setting that up. Because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.